Coming up in episode 63 of Press This, WordPress 3.8 is finally here. Find out why you need this update. Hey everybody, welcome back to another amazing episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, welcome. Good, good to see you again. Good to see you. It's freezing. Good to see you. Freezing. Yeah, yeah it's a little frigid over we, here. As we approach the holidays and Christmas. Uh, what is the show all about? We look at some of the awesome stuff in the WordPress world, specifically today, 3.8, brought to you by Slocum Themes, where we put up all of our awesome WordPress themes. Uh, check that out. We also want to know what themes you'd like yeah. to see us design and develop, but we'll talk more about that. Yeah. What else do we want people to do? Go ahead, people hit subscribe. Right? Big old red subscribe button, Matt. Yep, we're only at only at twenty two hundred yeah, yeah. uh, subscribers, which is the largest WordPress show that I know of. So yeah. go ahead and hit subscribe and awesome. uh, help us out. Thank you for your support, guys. Three point eight Parker, three point eight Charlie Parker mm -hmm. just released uh, last week. I talked about WordPress three point eight mm -hmm. release candidate. Uh, the release candidate one, I should say. And now we're going to talk about the official release. So it just released on Thursday, the twelfth, mm -hmm. and so. I'm more curious because I just went over it yep. initially to go into what you think about WordPress 3.8, Parker. Yeah. So the biggest thing for me, and I'm sure everyone uh, is excited about the new redesign, yeah. a code name MP6, now fully, you could have always installed it back in the day if you wanted to as a separate plugin. Yeah. Now, um, it is what it is, right? So now the admin <laughs> is MP6, uh, which is beautiful. Um, yes. I find it uh, the biggest enhancement, of course, because that's what I live in every day is the dashboard, the mm -hmm. create new posts, create new pages. It's tough to go back. It's tough to go back. It'd be impossible to go back. At, I logged into a client site today that was mm. still running on the older WordPress. And uh, I was just like, whoa, what is this? Like, ugh. <laughs> you know, this is not nice. <laughs> it's rough. And there um, actually is a, a template in case, or there was. I don't think they, got, they might have gotten rid of it, actually. Oh, no, they still have it. The light admin color scheme for yep. your user profile. If you really did like the... The hideous look of the last, you know, mm -hmm. WordPress 3.7, but it's there. And like you, and you know, like you have on your screen there, there's a bunch of different. Uh, there's eight different color schemes now that come in the admin. That somebody announced a, a plugin the other day where you can actually change the admin colors. Maybe we'll cover that sometime. Yeah, why not? Um, Put it in my notes. But uh, yeah, I love it. I love posting, writing, and drafting a new blog post. Yeah. It just seems so much. It you well it uses the new Google Open Sans text. Yep. So Who's everything. Coincidentally, is what we yeah use. yeah coincidentally. Hmm. Uh, where's the uh, the and, comp and, guys? Yeah. No, we use it before you guys yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> so so the cool thing about it is it spaces the the characters enough enough just so that it just makes writing a much more pleasurable experience. It yeah. it really does make it easier to do. Um, again, as I mentioned in the last episode, going in and, and posting when you know other websites were using the beta of it, I just couldn't go back and then look at you know some of our websites and things like that that were still running on three point seven. Yeah. Um, some of the other cool stuff yep. uh, that's going on with WordPress mm -hmm. 3.8, besides the name change, yeah. um, some some stuff under the hood, yeah, um, like the object. Uh, I don't I don't want to say the the wrong name. Uh, the object oriented coding, if you yeah. will, um, where little pieces of WordPress now, for lack of a better term, will can be given to a developer and say, mm -hmm. develop this piece. Yep. And then when we want to launch it into WordPress, it makes it so much more. Like plugin like like you can grab yes. it, shoot it over to WordPress, yeah. and uh, really helps yeah. with the growth of WordPress. Oh yeah, um, and developers yeah. are. I mean, Matt, Matt Mullen is always talking about. We've recently been talking about app development, mm -hmm. the app development framework with WordPress, and I think that this is sort of a clear sign or a clear indicator of that. Grouping these things into these little objects, um, like these little apps. Um, hopefully, have an article out soon um, about about that kind of thing with like talking about Pressgram, which are plugins that go. You know, from like an iPhone here, and then also plugins that uh, like um, App Presser coming out, which is in beta, mm -hmm. that are actually allow you to develop apps from within WordPress. So definitely good to see that happening in the actual core of WordPress. Too. That's right, right. And Matt Mullenweg did uh, head the uh, yes. the development of 3.8, and mm -hmm. quite a fantastic job yes. with that. And I think we're going to start to see these releases happen a little bit, you know, more, more quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that'll be fun to see. Already looking ahead for 3.9, yeah. which is insane to even think that because uh, we went for such a long time with with such uh, separation between major yeah. version updates. So really cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, all the way down to making the admin um, responsive, yes. which is awesome, um, mm -hmm. especially for tablet views. Now you have that typical top navigation. Yeah. 
um, that you know just helps so much more with publishing on your on your tablet. Looks really great on mobile phones too. I really like the Sunrise uh, user profile on a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. uh, it really make, gives that phone app look yeah. built right into the the core, built right into the dashboard. Right, and which that's really what they great. actually they kind of showcase that, which is which is kind of funny that they showcase that as part of. Um, the 3.8 release they've shown like that that sort of apple style mm -hmm. like here's the five iphones yeah. pick your color kind of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. um so it's kind of funny or kind of cool to see them kind of relate to mobile this yeah. way right and sort of customizing your mobile experience oh yeah oh yeah um because publishing is becoming a lot more mobile and yes. i think that's where we're really going to see yeah. the enhancements of wordpress over right. time right because this is when you're on the dashboard on a desktop it has a tendency to feel like a application framework mm -hmm. as opposed to a like a writing framework, which is where WordPress started. So if you're a journalist, um, having that distraction-free writing mode, kind of a constant on a mobile phone or a tablet, is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, smoother widget uh, experience. Now you can drag and scroll because, God, you remember when <clears throat> those of you that have had hundreds of widgets <laughs> uh, in the sidebar where you had to grab it yeah, yeah. and then like bring it over and, and then find the sidebar that it was part right, yeah, and yeah sort of like bring your leg up and hold yeah. it on, <laughs> on the space bar and like try to spin it down to get there now it is just so much easier i have a question for you matt from a development end um i noticed that while they improved the widget area and they made with the widget area chooser mm -hmm. um i still think it would have been nicer if when you have all those widgets especially the inactive widgets mm -hmm. if you had like a floating sidebars on the right side that kind of follow down the page is that like a coding nightmare with the dashboard of wordpress do you think or is it just something that's a little too heavy or no, and i'm sure it's not a, a consideration yeah it might not be a consideration uh, because that wouldn't really work on a mobile device no, that's true. so that's they're, true. they're looking at or it at like, least on the desktop end right know. it'll work on the desktop and i'm sure that there's a plugin out there yeah maybe um that solves it look mm -hmm. it's still not yeah to the beginner like the, the biggest struggle that people have are like, what's going on? Like, what is a primary sidebar? Right? Mm -hmm. They don't know primary sidebar. Right. Um, they don't mm -hmm. know that means the, the right. main sidebar. What is the main sidebar, right? <laughs> you right. start getting into stuff like that. That is still the complexity of WordPress. As easy as it is for folks in the audience and us to understand it, the person who's just getting into WordPress or the client that you're servicing, they don't get it. Um, and where this is a step in the right direction, I think there's gonna be some, some yeah. extra stuff uh, down yeah. the pipe. Yeah, I think hierarchically, like hierarchically has to become better for the consumer or the end user. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that visually, it really does give you that separation of this is what the sidebar is in my dashboard versus this is what the main content editing area is and allows people to sort of visualize that a little bit more, uh, right. a little bit better. Uh, and then of course, lastly, the biggest thing to be released. THX, oh, talking about the, <laughs> talking <laughs> about the, the theme. Yeah, the theme. Uh, 2014, um, as it's known, is a new responsive kind of, I guess, media-esque style layout. Yeah, I mean, I said Windows 8 in the, in the, yeah. the last episode. Tiles, but, that kind yeah. of thing. Um, you know, hey, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I think it's very busy and it puts the, uh, you know, I, I'm a fan of like 2010. Yeah. Just like super simple, like here's your theme uh, and you start with that. Uh, this seems like, oh, you've made me, you've made me want to publish like a magazine. Or like Flipboard, right. like it makes you right. want to like everything has to be big, bold, and beautiful. I think we talked images about running it. off the edges. Images and... running off the edges. Somebody who's just starting out, like think about it. And you folks might know this with your own clients, or maybe when you started blogging, like when you start working with like manipulating images, mm -hmm. like you're taking like little f photos that you're like downsizing, and they make them really small, and then you when you put it in here, it expands it so it's all pixelated. Yeah. But you don't know, you don't understand what you have to do to make these responsive images work. Mm -hmm. um, I've always said that we should do a show like take some of like the top 10 like most beautiful like full featured image themes mm -hmm. and then what would happen if the real world person used yeah, it yeah. Right? and slapped in their photos from like, you know, flash saturated sure. iPhone photos. You know, what does it really look like? It looks beautiful in the example like this girl walking through the field with the yeah, sun yeah. and the lens flare. It's great. What happens when Joe Pizza Flipper comes in yep. and uploads his photo? It's not there. big enough. It's not big enough. It looks stupid. <laughs> it doesn't look right. So, um, anyway, that's my little rant. So you're saying that. that people still shouldn't be using 2014. They should be using something like our themes Ooh, or something like that. Interesting. Right? Interesting. To... Anything else you want to say about 3.8 before I mean, we move into I, the? I think I covered it last episode. I was more interested in your opinions, kind of going over some of the changes that have happened since release candidate one. Mm -hmm. If you want to see that, you can just watch the other video. Mm -hmm. We also have a great article on it up mm -hmm. on Slocum themes. Yeah, I should say that. Um, I do enjoy the new theme selector. Though. Yes. Like now, THX 38. Right. So now to find the themes and kind of search for the themes and hovering over them, that's all fun and cool. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's a better, yeah. 
uh, a more beautiful experience right. than than the old way. Um, yes, but speaking of themes, uh, we want to we we do have three themes that are out there now. We're calling our modern themes. The modern themes, yeah. Um, with the real estate theme, epic, minimize, and socialize. I'm sorry, that's, that's four. That, that that's made four. that before. Uh, that's four. <laughs> um, and then we have our two originals, which came yes. uh, over the last uh, course of the last two years, which we've kept on. We've retired some others. We've kept the John Morgan yeah. blogging theme because it's still very popular. Um, and then we have the legal theme because we still have law firms coming to us saying, can you build us a law site? Need to build a law site? Check out our theme. In the works, we have a new photo theme coming. Right. Uh, I think it's going to be called Capture. Hopefully. Yeah. It's going to be freaking amazing. Yeah, it right? looks awesome. It is going to be one of the best photography themes, if not the best photography theme that you can get for WordPress. Scott's done a really great job and worked in some cool code stuff under yeah. the hood. Yeah. Like Node and Backbone all this stuff that just melts my mind. It's going to be really cool on how you interact with your photos. So look for that. But do let us know what yeah. kind of themes are you looking for, yeah. right? We Absolutely. get requests all the time uh, from folks saying, hey, do you have this particular business theme? Yeah. Or I'm doing, a biz yeah. I'm doing a site for a bank. Do you have a theme just for banks? <laughs> uh, we like to say you can make these themes do anything. Yeah. But if there's something particular, yeah, I mean, even beyond themes, is there a particular pain point and like a plugin or something that that's really sort of grinding your gears, you know? Right. What is it uh, that you're looking for, yeah. and we'll either solve that problem <laughs> or answer it at least. Sure. Uh, and we want to know what you want to hear. We're always uh, delighted to get listener yeah. questions. Yeah. Get them all the time. Yeah. We'll do another listener segment, which will yeah, be cool. Absolutely. We'll do a listener question segment soon, hopefully. Maybe get a survey out there and get you guys linkage, linkage, so that you can go ahead and. Take that, let us know what you think about it. Sweet. Go ahead and hit subscribe on YouTube. Go ahead and check out slocumthemes.com and all the amazing themes there. Slocumthemes.com slash blog to follow yes. all this awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. Till next time, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys.